I know it's another Hassan and Ethan video, and trust me, I don't want to make this, but I feel like I want. I feel like I need to make this only because there's context out, and I really want to like say something on this. Um, but I don't want to end up talking about another Ethan or Hassan conflict unless, of course, there's some sort of a big event such as a meteor that's about to strike the Earth, and somehow Hassan is linked to it. Then I don't really want to talk about like this issue, not for a while at least. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about the issue. So Ethan just recently came out with a video uh, two or three days ago, and he was talking about a certain tier list that was made on him. Now, Frogan, Vio, Denims, Capri Sun, and a couple of other content creators uh, were a part of this. And essentially the tier list is who's more Arab. And in this tier list, they put Hassan all the way at the top. And of course, uh, some person named Austin, as you're gonna see in the video, However, when it came to Ethan, they held up Ethan's face to the crowd. Everybody booed and uh, there was Denims who made uh, somewhat of a sly remark, uh, you know, saying, if only there was a Zionist category, then we would put him there. The next person is one of my favorite people, Ethan Klein. <laughs> I told you guys to clap. <laughs> this is a good reaction. That was a good one. <laughs> that's, oh, that's good. Jewish. <laughs> Dude, where's Wait, the, where's the, you guys are missing a category for Zionist. No. <laughs> that was a joke. That was just a joke in my Stand up, stand up, stand up. Uh, uh, that cheering. It almost makes nails on the chalkboard nostalgic. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, it, when you listen to that, it sounds a bit derogatory. I don't know if that is anti-Semitism. At least I don't think that just yet, but they're can be a possibility that it potentially is anti-Semitic. However, for now, we're just gonna classify it as derogatory because for sure we know that it is derogatory because this these are words from Denim herself. She said it on that stream or that podcast. We need to put it in love, Sabra. Yeah. yeah I know yeah, the yeah, other yeah, yeah. people are in there derogatory, but he's yeah. in there just like neutral. Yeah. Jinxie loves Sabra. Yeah, so it's safe to say that the other people other than Jinxie are there for derogatory reasons. Now, Ethan is taking this tier list and he is claiming that this is anti-Semitism. We're very proud of you, Denim, for bringing anti-Semitism right on stage and you guys are killing it. Now, I disagree with this point of view. It's not an Arab to Jew scale or tier list. Is not. It was just these guys having fun. And unfortunately and inadvertently, they just so happened to use a term that was related to a Jewish person. Now, when they have love Sabra, that's supposed to be hummus. An American-owned hummus that is not to the standards that most Middle Eastern people like. So they used that Sabra, not the other Sabra, which means a Jewish person that is born in Israel. Because if they would have used that term, then that loves Sabra tier would have sounded more like Jew lover, which then for sure would have been anti Semitic. However, inadvertently, they are being anti Semitic because they have the term Sabra there. So anybody can look at that and be like, Are you referring to a Jewish person? Which is why now, if you take a look at their channels, they all have been banned. Denims, Capri, Frogan. Well, Frogan for a different reason. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and demonstrate to you guys the reason why she ended up talking about US soldiers and how she hopes that they end up suffering PTSD that is absolutely uncurable or perhaps even the worst kind possible. I have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers. Distress, thank you so much. I will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers. US military, boo fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Uh, what, what she meant to say was that she hopes they reach PTSD, as in the perfectly tranquil sanctuary destination, you know, where people can go to find inner peace. That's what she meant. Now nah, I'm just fucking with you. No, she, it's exactly what she's talking about. So for Frogan, I, she deserves her ban, okay? She went against TOS over on Twitch even though they rarely ever enforce it. And yeah, she got banned for that, okay? So I'm not I'm not gonna dispute that. Uh, for the other content creators, however, uh, except for Denims, I think that it was a bit unfair for Vio and Capri. Um, however, for Denims, she did say a couple of questionable uh, remarks on that podcast. So perhaps she probably has this gray area whether she could be banned or not. Nevertheless though, I do wanna go ahead and point out something very interesting that Ethan said in his video that kinda of caught me off guard. So let me show you guys. I don't know what to say. You know, I, I've kind of I've been put in this position where like, 
I watch this clip and I'm like, what the fuck am I actually watching? This is this is mad. I need to say something. Now, Ethan kind of exposes himself here. Uh, he indicates in this clip, but overall in the entire video that he watched the clip. I watch this clip. Which indicates to me that he didn't watch the entire tier list. So I kind of asked myself the question, well, what if he would have watched the entire tier list, the entire podcast? Would he still have that same opinion? Uh, most likely he probably would, only because he's been under attack by Hassan fans for some time now, so I'm sure that he still would have that opinion. But when I watch it, because uh, I'm I'm not being under attack, so I can see that a little more objectively, it doesn't really seem like it's about anti-Semitism. Rather, it's more about who's more Arab, you know? So it, it's just supposed to be fun for these guys. It wasn't ever supposed to be like, you know, Jew is bad, Arab good, like how Ethan is indicating. That's not what it was supposed to be. Because if you take a look at the tier list, the, uh, you know, Love Sabra tier list, you will see that there's other content creators who aren't Jewish, like Sneeko. He's hardcore Muslim now. He's not Jewish, you know? And people, I think anybody can, if anybody knows anything about Sneeko, you know, I don't think he's about loving Jews. You know, he doesn't make that his content. If anything, he tries to get Jewish people to go over to the Muslim side. Like he tried to get Aiden Ross to sign up to be a Muslim. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Ilaha. Ilaha. Ilala. Ilala. Wa Ashadu. Wa Ashadu. Um, Anna. Amna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So what does that mean? Because everyone's clapping. And it means you're one of us now. <laughs> you're Muslim. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are my brothers now, so. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> God, Sneeko pisses me off sometimes, man. I mean, just take a look at his face. Take a look at that smile, man. I hope there's no bakeries out there that sell any cakes on the day of his birthday. Nah, that's fucked up, man. That, that, that doesn't make me any better than Frogan. No, no, but Sneeko, he, he, he's a good kid sometimes. Anyways, going back to um the Ethan and Tearless situation, uh, it, it, you know, it totally depends on your point of view. If you back up the Hassan camp, then most likely you're going to see this as an injustice, except for the whole Frogan situation. You guys are probably going to see this as, you know, oh, they're hating pro-Palestine people. Uh, if you're on the side that is against Hassan or uh, in their point of view uh, against pro-Palestine people, then, you know, you think that this is an acceptable term. So it totally depends. Uh, it doesn't really seem like there's a right or wrong here because it, it all depends. It's mixed is mixed you know there's just no getting around that but nonetheless uh yeah and as far as the twitch bans uh or not the twitch bans but the twitch signups because i know that for a while israel and palestine could not sign up to create new accounts on twitch and the reason why is because they wanted to prevent anybody from streaming any graphic content like the buffalo shooter did obviously if you guys don't know what happened with buffalo shooter he ended up going to a grocery store and he ended up unloading an assault rifle on people who were shopping mainly black folks and he live streamed he live streamed it on twitch um and now that footage is out there it exists and they want to prevent another situation like that which is why they ended up issuing a ban for israel and palestine back in october 7th and since then it has not been uplifted at least up until yesterday and since then uh, Israelis and Palestinians can now sign up however that is still yet to be determined because I myself have not seen it uh, firsthand so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there that's all I have for you guys and yeah hopefully you guys learned something today